What's up? It's Aaron Williams again, aka Randy Orton Fan 2011, and we are back here at uh, Darlington for Season 2 race, the Southern 500. Of course, we're back in here in the Lady in Black. Of course, we know who tamed the uh, Lady in Black last season. But of course, we're back here at Darlington under the lights. Of course, we all love racing under the lights. We're ready to go for 37 laps here in the Southern 500. We got a few notables here in the track that we do want to talk about, so of course we'll get that we'll get to them after I go through the starting grid. So once I go through the starting grid, we will get to them. So stay tuned. So that was your starting lineup. Trent Dunham has elected to has Trent Dunham has started on the pole and he has elected to choose the outside lane. So Trent Dunham will be on the outside. Liam Irvig also had a good qualifying run. He will be on the inside. There's our defending PORWC Pepsi Cup Series champion Dylan Poteet starting in third. Wilson Anderson not a bad qualifying run for her in fourth. Yours truly starting in fifth. Jessica Miller, our previous race winner, she was starting in 6th. We have a new driver in the 20 car, and that's Sean Henley. He will be starting 8th. And we do have two more drivers that we want to show you. Xavier Livingston in the 12 car, starting in the 38th position. And Matt McMurray has returned to the 1 car, starting 34th. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's get the command and fire up them engines. Drivers, start your engines! As the pace car rolls out, we're ready to go. Take a look at the pace car. It's actually a blue Chevy Camaro. Right away, the pace car is going to make the left turn to Pit Road, and oh, what's this? Trent Dunham thought we thought Trent Dunham had problems, but he's back on the track. If he can't keep up with uh, the rest of the field, that's going to allow Liam Irvig to uh, really catch up. And we're waiting for the green. And the green flag has waved. We're underway here. We're underway here at Darlington. I'm not sure if Trent Dunham should have, should have chose the outside lane to go to because Liam Irvig has caught up, has uh, taken the lead. I Liam, yesterday. It's your turn. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Liam Irvig is a uh, leader. Dylan Poteet right behind him. Of course, Dylan Poteet looking for the. Uh, Looking for a second win in the PRWC Pepsi Cup Series as Liam Irvig leads that all-important first lap. Sorry about that, that's Rachel. Liam Irvig still the leader. Dylan Poteet second. Aaron Williams has moved his way into the third position. Charles Jackson looking to the inside of his buddy Trent Dunham for the fourth position. Oh, there was a spin. There was a spin somewhere in the back. Oh, it's Jack Richards. Jack Richards with some damage on that, on the... Uh, the blue deuce, but did not bring out a, was not enough to bring out a caution. So we see the lights are still green. As Liam Irvig has now led two laps. Christopher Martin looking at the in, looking to the inside, looking at the inside to his teammate Jessica Miller, our previous race winner for her position, looking for sixth. 
Tried to look in the inside, but can't quite get there. Charles Jackson looking to turn his momentum around after uh, after fail after epically failing at Quebec City, looking for a top five finish here. Of course, Liam Irving. He's trying to uh, race his way into the trying to race his way into the All Star race. Of course, there is this is the last race before the All Star weekend in the PRWC Pepsi Cup Series, so this is very important. They come off turn four, we're onto lap five, and Liam Ervick has led all four laps at this point. And still in Poteet, third caution is out, the caution is out now. Oh, Josh Cullen, heavy damage on that 55 machine, the Aaron's Dream Machine, and he is out of this race. Oh, and Xavier Livingston, he's in the garage. And, um, oh man, Brian LaFleur Jr., heavy damage to that 17 machine. He will not make it to pit road. And tough break for the rookie, Brian LaFleur Jr. Had a great top 10 run in Quebec City, and unfortunately his, his, his hot streak will end. We'll take a look at what brought the caution. Stay tuned. So here's what brings our first caution of the race. Here you see Brian LaFleur Jr. and Josh Cullen, the 55 and 17 respectively. They're going to get together. And I don't know what's going on there because uh, Brian LaFleur Jr. tries to like take out Josh Cullen. And he does and takes out himself in the process. And then right here is when Xavier Livingston is going to get into it. Oh, right there. He gets into Josh Cullen. And then another hard hit onto Brian LaFleur Jr. And that takes both Josh Cullen and Xavier Livingston out of the race, as well as Brian LaFleur Jr. And that was what brought our first caution of the race. You see everyone trying to fall back in line. It's Liam Irving, the leader at this point, followed by Dylan Poteet, Aaron Williams, Trent Dunham, and Charles Jackson, your top five. We'll be right back after uh, this for more Green Flag Racing. Stay tuned. We are back. Pace cars is giving us the one to go. The Camaro pace car is Liam Irvig, followed by Dylan Poteet, Aaron Williams, Trent Dunham, and Charles Jackson, your top five. Then it's Jessica Miller, Christopher Martin, Michael Norman, Alyssa Anderson, and Jennifer Miller, 6th through 10th. Cars with a DNF right now are Jack Richards, Brian LaFleur Jr., Josh Cullen, and Xavier Livingston. As we wait the green flag, and there it is, green flag back out in the air. Ready go back racing here at Darlington, green flag. Pulse sitter Trent Dunham's not wasting any time, going to the inside of Aaron Williams, looking for that third position. Trying to clear Williams, and he does do it. Trent Dunham has moved his way up to third. Now Dylan Poteet right on the back bumper of Liam Irvig. Poteet to the inside. Looking for that inside run. Can't quite get it. Liam Irvig has led 9 of 9 laps so far. Jessica Miller's moving her way into the fifth position. Now Charles Jackson and Michael Norman battling for sixth. And then teammates Alyssa Anderson and Christopher Martin battling for eighth position. Of course, that inside advantage is where that's where everyone wants to be. Aaron Williams looking toward the inside again. Trying to get a run on Trent Dunham. Can't quite do it on the front stretch. We have passed ten laps, and Liam Irvick has led every single one of them. There you see Matthew McMurray, he is uh, very slow at this point. Very slow, something might be wrong with his car. It looks like he's down a cylinder. And boy, that's a tough break for Matthew McMurray. Down a cylinder and unfortunately he will not, he will not like the result of his first race back in the, back in the Pepsi Cup series. Liam Irvick is still your leader. And that's Dylan Poteet, Trent Dunham, Aaron Williams, and Jessica Miller, the previous race winner, rounding out the top five. Mm -hmm. 
We come around 25 laps to go. Liam Ervig has led every single one, every single lap at this point. 12 of 12 for so far. But Dylan Poteet was about eight, was 18 one thousandths of a second faster than Ervig on that previous lap. Liam Ervig trying to put some distance between him and Poteet. Trent Dunham has caught, caught his way back up to Dylan Poteet. Looking for the second position, Aaron Williams trying to defend the fourth position from his number one fan, Jessica Miller. You see Charles Jackson looking to turn his uh, momentum around into a positive note. He's currently in sixth. Michael Norman looking for a, his just his second top ten finish of his career in the PORWC. He's in seventh. Then Alyssa Anderson looking for a good finish in eighth. Then it's Austin Plant trying to uh, trying to build off some momentum. He's in ninth, and then it's Jennifer Miller rounding out the top ten. Aaron Williams has caught up to Trent Dunham. Trying to get a draft from him. Maybe try and go to the inside. Try and take that third position away. Looking for a run on the inside. But really that outside line works fairly well here at Darlington. Now take a look at this. Now this is what I like. This is a good track view right here. Yeah, you like that. That is pretty cool right there. There you see the Goodyear blimp. Liam Mervick leaning on our lap. There's a helicopter there too. Alright, enough fooling around. Let's go back to the race. Williams looking to the inside, trying to get help from his teammate Jessica Miller. Can't quite do it there. There you see Matt McMurray fairly, clearly much slower. Well, he is not just not happy with his car right now. As we close in on the halfway point, Liam Mervick has led 16 of 16 laps. Dylan Poteet still in the second position. Then it's Trent Dunham and Aaron Williams. And then Jessica Miller, your top five. But Aaron Williams trying to defend... The fourth position from his number one fan, Jessica Miller. Of course, Aaron gave Jessica the win in Quebec City, but will he be loyal to her this time at Darlington in a track there that he is that he has won on before? Twenty laps to go now, and Liam Ervig has led all seventeen laps. But as we take a look at this race view, they're starting to close in now. You see, you see these cars are starting to slow down. The car is starting to come on to Matthew McMurray. We take a look at the lap times here. There you see Liam Irving's lap time. Point, his last lap was a 33.973. While Matthew McMurray, on the other hand, was a 37.005. So really, well now, it was a 36.746 for Matthew McMurray. For Irving, it is a 34.032. So, so really, as we see here on this, on this chart here, Liam Irving is about 2.7 seconds faster than Matthew McMurray, and they are catching up to him fast. And we don't, and you don't want to be behind that the back bumper of that one car, because then you're going to lose a lot of positions. Waiting for if a caution will come out. This is the halfway point. Whoever leads this lap will get extra bonus points, two extra bonus points, and it's Liam Irving. Liam Irving will get two extra bonus points, one for leading at the halfway point, and one more for leading the most laps. Liam Irving almost, almost two seconds, fa almost two point, almost two point six seconds faster than Matthew McMurray as they come as they're closing in on him fast. But Matthew McMurray's on that inside line, or he's going to choose to go to the outside. Will any drivers get caught up behind the back bumper of the one car? Doesn't look like that right now. Everyone trying to avoid disaster. But that's going to allow everyone else near the back to catch up. There you see Matthew McMurray clearly much slower. Boy, he is not happy with his car. He's down a cylinder. Tough break for that one team. 
And I got a feeling they might come back up to him again, if possible. We cycle through this field here. We cycle through around the field, and we're gonna see, we're gonna take a look. We're gonna pay special attention to this one car for a moment because this is what causing a lot of a lot of drivers to get really mad because of a one car that's just so slow and can't get away and can't just can't avoid trouble. And it's just very unfortunate for Matthew McMurray right here. Not sure if a wreck might occur, but it's very possible since he's much slower. Oh, that was a close call right there. John Dawson and Alexander Dawson team teammates. Getting a lot of close calls here, especially with the slow car Matthew McMurray. Now he's really starting to slow down this part of the field. He's all the way in the center. He's all the way in the center of the track, and that's not good for these drivers. And now Max Skinner and Seth Clark stuck behind the one car. Boy, they're not going to be happy with him. Boy, they are not going to be happy with... Boy, the 15 and 24, they are not going to be happy with Matt McMurray right now. Because you see, he's clearly much slower. And now, another car will join the Matthew McMurray train. The slow Matthew McMurray train. Boy, and that's going to allow a lot of drivers... Oh, Max Skinner goes around! Max Skinner goes around! And the caution will likely be out. The caution is out. No, it is not. No, it is not because it happened near the back of the pack, and Max Skinner and Danny Wells looks like they got involved, but no caution. No caution is out, but Max Skinner has got to be really mad at Matthew McMurray for that. Boy, that I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what Matthew McMurray. I mean, I know he's down a cylinder, but blocking up the rest, blocking up the center part of the track, that is just not cool. And that got Max Skinner from like towards the uh, towards the front of the pack all the way down to 37th. And of course, we also saw a few other drivers. Seth Cole is all the way, has now fallen back to the 29th position. He's not happy there either. And now Danny Wells was stuck behind Matthew McMurray. Well, Matthew McMurray just not happy with his car, and unfortunately, um, he's going to piss off a lot of drivers here. Go back to our cool little track view. Of course, we were going through that. The, the field, the top 10 at this point, they're still the same. The top 10 are still the same at this point. Oh, someone went on the wall. Someone went off the wall. Who was that? Someone off the wall. I think it might be Jake Cole. Jake Cole went off the wall, but it looks like uh, the caution's not out. We're going to come around 10 laps to go, and Liam Irvig is in the driver's seat right now. Now it's uh, Trent Dunham, Aaron Williams, single file. Trying to help each other. Will they help each other? Will they help to try and get Dylan Poteet away from the, the podium? Maybe, but Aaron Williams might have something to say about that. Got to run on the inside on Trent Dunham. Trying to take the third position right back. Trying to get a run on the inside, but Trent Dunham's also got a run on the outside. Williams looking for a line, but he can't find it. Now Jessica Miller trying to defend the sixth to fifth position away from Charles Jackson. Aaron Williams fighting Trent Dunham for that for, for that third position, but Aaron Williams can't find the line. Aaron's looking to the inside, but you know, this outside line's working fairly well, Darlington. Eight laps to go, and Liam Irvig's in the driver's seat. We go back to our little trek for a moment. 
We see here they're going to catch up once again to Matthew McMurray. I got a feeling that they're going to catch up back up to Matthew McMurray. But now let's go on board uh, Liam Ervig here. We're going to go on board our current leader. We've got on board Liam Irving. Now let's go on board Aaron Williams. And there are your onboard cameras with a few of our drivers. Oh, well, now they're really starting to catch up. They're going to meet Matthew McMurray one more time before the end of this race. Five laps to go. Liam Mervick has an eight-tenths of a second lead over Dylan Poteet, and that should be no problem if he can get around Matthew McMurray. And it looks like he will. Matthew McMurray over three seconds slower than Liam Mervick was in the previous lap. See Dylan Poteet going to get around Math McMurray as well. And it should be no problem for Trent Dunham and Aaron Williams as well. But Trent Dunham got a little held up there. That's going to allow Aaron Williams to catch up. Just a little bit. Four to go now, this time by. Boy, Math McMurray, he is not a happy camper right now. Down to seven cylinders, and well, this thing can't just get any worse for Matthew McMurray. But now the top four, I think, are pretty spread out at this point. Evenly spread out, about. About evenly spread out at this point. But Liam Irvick has led 34 of 34 laps at this point. Three laps to go, and Liam Irvick's in the driver's seat. This is the last race before the All-Star Weekend, and boy, Liam Irvick can capture that last spot if he can stay consistent through these final two and a half laps. Dylan Poteet, seven tenths of a second back, but I'm not sure if he has enough time to catch up now. Trent Dunham trying to get another podium finish. Aaron Williams looking for another top five. Jessica Miller looking for another top five as well. There's Charles Jackson looking to uh, turn his momentum around. Then Michael Norman looking for a second top five, top 10 finish of his career. Alyssa Anderson looking for a top 10. Then Austin Plant and Jennifer Miller are, bat are battling for the ninth position. Two laps to go. Liam Irvig still with a strong lead. Six tenths of a second. 64, 1, 000, 64 one hundredths of a second. My bad. To be exact. They're going to take the white flag this time by. Liam Mervick has taken the white flag, and whatever happens, happens. This is it. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to catch up to Max Skinner. He's running fairly close lap time towards the, to the leaders. Liam Mervick has two turns away from a Southern 500 victory. He can stay clean through turns three and four. He'll come away with his first career PORWC Pepsi Cup Series victory. His first career PORWC victory. And coming off turn four, it is Liam Irvig. Liam Irvig. My bad. Liam Irvig will take home the Southern 500 trophy and his first career PORWC victory. Dylan Poteet will end up second on the podium. Trent Dunham with a good podium finish in third. Aaron Williams will come away with another top five in fourth. Jessica Miller will end up fifth. Charles Jackson will come away with a good finish in sixth. Michael Norman, oh man, it's been a good run for Michael Norman. 
He's on a, he's, that's his second top 10 finish, second consecutive top 10 finish. And Alyssa Anderson, a good run for her in eighth. Also, Plant will end up ninth. And Jennifer Miller rounds out your top 10. Oh, man. Oh, look out. Look out. Dylan Poteet off and over. And Alyssa Anderson, everyone just piling into the pit lane. And Aaron Williams and Jessica Miller, the only ones who are able to get out of it. Well, there you see everyone already on pit road. Um, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what was going on. We're going to have to see that again because that was a, that was a really uh, interesting ending to end the race right there. That was really interesting to end the race. But uh, we'll take a look at what that, what that was and then we'll take a look at our official race results. So stay tuned. All right, the race is over, but y'all are wondering what what the what that ending was all about. Well, take a look at this. As they were as the cars were coming into pit road, let's take a look here. Liam Irvig in the twenty seven, the winner, hits the commitment cone. Liam Irvig hits the commitment cone, and then he's gonna hit that barrier between the track and pit road, and then Dylan Poteet. Oh, and then Trent Dunham flips over Dylan Poteet. Then Aaron Williams is going to take a hit onto that barrier. And then Jessica Miller is going to get a piece of that one. And, well, they're the only two drivers who are going to be able to drive back to the garage. Because look at this. Look at this. See, Liam Irving has stopped. Dylan Poteet has been flipped over. Trent Dunham all stopped in the track. Oh, my God. Wow. And it, all be, and it all was because Liam Irvig hit the commitment cone. <laughs> but just a crazy ending. Look at this, a crazy ending to the Southern 500. Crazy ending to that Southern 500. But we're going to see this again in real time. Alright, now we're seeing how this incident occurs in real time. You see them coming into pit road. But all of a sudden, Liam Irvig... Hits the commitment cone right here and then goes into the barrier. Then Dylan Poteet flips over. Aaron Williams with a hit. Oh, Michael Norman with some air time. And just a crazy ending to crazy ending to this race right here. Oh man. Look at look at these cars. All the cars going airborne here. Unbelievable. But, what a finish to what seemingly was a boring race, to say the least. Not much cautions here. Of course, I think only one caution occurred. But, you know, well, that's racing for you. It's hard, it's hard to see that there was only one caution here at, uh, here at Darlington. Hard to believe that, but it happened. But I think this will, uh, I think this takes the cake right here, this crazy ending. And now we'll take you to the official race results. There are your official race results. Liam Irving taking home the win, leading every single lap. That's the second straight Darlington race that the leader has led every single lap. So how about that for Liam Irving? And he will be eligible to compete in the All-Star race. So good for Liam. Dylan Poteet close to his second win of the season, but he'll come away with a podium finish in second. Trent Dunham also in the podium finish in third. Aaron Williams will come away with the top five in fourth. Jessica Miller will round out the top five in fifth. Charles Jackson will finally turn his uh, momentum around into a positive note in sixth. Then Michael Norman with a second top ten finish of his career in seventh. Alyssa Anderson will end up with a top ten in eighth. Austin Plant with another top ten in ninth. And Jennifer Miller rounds out the top ten. We'll go through 11th through 20th now. It is Christopher Martin, Ryan Cooper, Randy Carpenter, Sean Henley, Pichu, Michael Dawson, uh, Justin Perry, John Dawson, Alexander Dawson, and then Dylan Young. We'll go through 21st through 30th now. It is Red Bell, Dion Scott, jo Joshua Perry, Shoya Ryu, Yoko Makedo, Sasha Dawson, Seth Cole, Brian Young, James McLeod, and Sean Galligan. And then finally, we go through the bottom half, the bottom part of the field. It is Caleb Cullen, Hiroshi Kato, Alexander Jones, Jake Cole, Danny Wells, Joseph Clark, Max Skinner, Matthew McMurray ends up two laps down, and then the bottom four with the DNF, Jack Richards, Brian LaFleur Jr., Josh Cullen, and Xavier Livingston. So a big win for Liam Irvig. 
come away with a big win in Darlington, and he had a lot of confidence heading into Darlington, and well, it all could hunt, it all ends up with a big win for him. And he will be he will be eligible for the All Star race. He will be in the All Star race, and of course, I will have um, of course the All Star race. We have uh, we have I think eighteen drivers. Yes, we do. Eighteen drivers have been qualified for the All Star race. Um. Well, no, I had 16, right? My bad. 16 drivers have been qualified for the All-Star Race. I will handpick two drivers at random. Depending on what, depending on many factors, I will handpick two drivers to participate in the All-Star Race. And then it will be, and then, of course, the All-Star, and then, of course, the All-Star Showdown Last Chance Qualifier, the top five, will end up making the All-Star Race. And then I will have a fan vote before the showdown to determine who will, um, to determine who will, uh, Make the fan vote and be in the All Star Showdown. All right, guys. So a great, well, not not really uh the best race I've seen. Of course, it was pretty boring, but well, only one caution. But you know that ending has to take the cake right there. All right, guys. This is a uh, that's it for me from Darlington. Of course, All Star Weekend, not the band. PRWC All Star Weekend is coming up, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that turns out. This has been your PRWC President Kevin Rabinal. Signing off. This race has been brought to you by Pepsi Next. Crisp, refreshing, amazing. Pepsi Next. Here come your standings.